Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to dump your Wii U games over to your PC. But before we get started, you have to make sure that you already have Homebrew installed on your Wii U. If you don't, you can watch my video tutorial which is linked below showing you how to install it. And of course, if you need any help with this tutorial, you can ask me or anyone else on my Discord server. The link to that is also below. But now, let's get started. And remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. The first thing you have to do is click the link below named DDD and download the files to your desktop. This download includes the DDD Homebrew app and the tools we're going to be using to receive the game from the Wii U. Extract the zip folder to your desktop, then navigate to the DDD folder which is inside. Now open up your Wii U's SD card, navigate to the Wii U folder, then the apps folder and copy the DDD folder to the apps folder on the SD card. Now that we've installed the homebrew app, eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U while it's turned off. Now let's open the homebrew launcher where we'll find the homebrew app we just installed. I'm using the browser exploit which I featured in my Wii U homebrew tutorial. Now in the homebrew launcher, open up the homebrew app we just installed, DDD. Once you see this screen, go back to your PC. Now we have to tell DDD the local IP address of our computer so it knows where to send the game. Let's start with the easy method of finding your PC's local IP address. This one doesn't always work so we'll try the harder method after this one. Just click the link below named What's My Local IP Address and it will take you to this website and your computer's local IP should be displayed on the screen. If yours isn't showing, we can try the slightly harder method now. Press the Windows key and the letter R key at the same time and this run box should show up. In the box, type in CMD, then press enter. And now in the command prompt window, type in ipconfig. Now look for the IPv4 address of your main active network adapter. Just like on the website, mine is 192.168.1.10. Once you've found your PC's local IP address, open up the DDD folder and you should see these BAT files. Each one of these BAT files will ask your Wii U to dump a different part of the game. But 90% of the time, you're going to be dumping the entire game. This is also the one you're going to use if you want to mod Super Smash Bros for Wii U. So double click the dump everything bat file and this window should show up. Now on the Wii U, enter your PC's local IP address which you noted down from earlier. If you want to dump the game disc that's in your Wii U right now, press the A button. Or if you want to dump a game that you downloaded, press the X button. If you are not dumping from the disc, you should be kicked back to the home menu. Now all you have to do is launch the game you want to dump. I'm going to be dumping Super Smash Bros for Wii U, so I'm going to select it and then press A to play it as normal. And if we look back at the PC, it should be receiving the game, but it does take a very, very long time to dump. So I recommend leaving your PC and Wii U on overnight to dump the game without any interruption. Also keep in mind, you can't use the Wii U while it's dumping the game. One more thing I should mention is that if you click inside the box that's receiving the game, it can freeze. So I definitely recommend using this overnight. 
once the game has finished dumping, close the window on the PC and power off the Wii U. The reason you want to power off your Wii U is because DDD is still running in the background and it might crash your Wii U or dump files that aren't needed. To find the game we just dumped, open up your Windows drive and then open the new game folder. And there it is, all of the game files are kept inside that vol folder. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.